Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 4th, 2019. Well, another day, another reversal gap. It seems like we can't get through one day without some kind of big news event creating a full-on reversal of the day before. Pretty darn frustrating. Um, it really is making it um, very difficult, if not absolutely impossible to distrust the price action of the market from day to day, which places us in a situation either we day trade or we don't trade at all because of the mess that this market is making. So what happened last night? Well, last night we heard from Hong Kong that they are going to re uh, have withdrawn that controversial um, extradition uh, bill that created all of the protests over there and um, the Hong Kong uh, market just soared last night uh, 995 points rallying strongly on that news whether that actually quells the protests that's yet to be seen but then um, we um, Right after the market closed yesterday, we also heard that Parliament has voted to take control of um, the government in the UK and block the Prime Minister's attempt for a no-deal Brexit. And that also has European markets um, lifting slightly this morning and has reversed the sterling. Uh, which had dropped um, significantly yesterday, has now has recovered that move. So this morning, uh, markets are once again happy, and we are bouncing back up. So let's take a look at the technicals of the market here and see what we can uh, attempt to glean from all of this whip back and forth. And by the way, anybody caught short in this is certainly going to uh, be feeling the pain uh, this morning as we sharply move back up. So first off, let's take a look here. If, if we notice on this chart that we have rallied up pretty strongly here this morning. We're looking at a gap up open of about 200 points here on the Dow. But that's not recovering um, that the full measure of, of this move back toward the 50-day moving average. That doesn't mean it can't. We could certainly pick up uh, something else in the market or create a bit of a short squeeze to push this market right back up toward that 50-day moving average. But we've got a lot of price action in this chart that will resist it along with those uh, moving averages. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely as we whip this market back up. Now, the unfortunate thing is, I think, is uh, will that be the end of the move today? Remember, we still have lots of data yet to come out this week and we've got the employment situation on Friday. So once again, we could get a gap and then virtually go nowhere. If we take a look at some of these gaps recently, we gap up and then we just kind of chop around in this little sideways move all day long, making, making it very difficult for anything to happen. The next day we gap up and we we pretty much just wander around the rest of the day. Um, we gap down and then we pretty much wander around the rest of the day, leaving uh, not much in here at all for retail traders to be able to do except, um, you know, sit on their hands because of these, uh, these gaps. Unless you're a really quick intraday trader, there's really not a whole lot of edge that you can hold on to in this market. So, could that be the same situation today? We gap up, and then with all of this information yet to come out this uh, this week, um, could we just stall right there and just sit? Um, I think that could be a possibility, so kind of keep that in mind. We'll have to watch that pretty closely today. One thing that could actually avoid that from happening is a lot of the traders that extended their vacations maybe 
coming back to work today. So who knows, maybe that might inspire a little bit more attention uh, to the price action uh, later on today. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Remember, we also have another vote today over in the UK, um, whether or not they will block that deal. And um, we could end up you know, seeing some turmoil um, around that situation. So let's watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY very much in the same situation, gapping up sharply here this morning, um, gapping up a little bit stronger than the than the Dow, um, right into this price resistance level in the chart and that 50-day moving average. So we'll want to watch that up here, watch uh, for that potential resistance to take hold. Um, and if we see those buyers push on through there, wonderful. Um, if we see those bears, uh, you know, standing firm for an attack uh, to the downside great whether or not you can trust that you could hold anything overnight uh, overnight and not expect another reversal gap I don't know that's that's a tough question right now and it's becoming very weary, wearisome um, and uh, just making me want to sit on my hands and wait until this clears up let's take a look at the cues um, cues um, also bouncing up sharply here this morning you can see coming up pretty strongly Q's has significant levels of resistance that it needs to deal with in this chart. So if we can get up through there, test that 50-day average once again, um, that would be the place we want to be watching to see whether those bulls can push it on through or if there's those bears defend that level. And then IWM, you know, even though we're gapping back up, there's nothing pretty about this IWM chart. Long-term downtrend, ugly, ugly, ugly. Looks like a hundred miles of money muddy road um, and this gap up this morning really doesn't change anything here in IWM we're still in a very bearish condition on our small caps let's take a look at the VIX now our VIX yesterday popped up rallied up and as the day went on um, turned around and started to pull back down but it didn't fill this morning gap um, in in that move however we do have this higher low pattern and that's what we're going to have to keep an eye on today so we have the these rising lows in this chart and this morning we're getting that reversal um, so i expect we're going to see um, the vix move back down into this area and we'll have to see if it can break on through um, uh, right down in here to these support levels. Keep in mind that we're still um, somewhat elevated and we still have this downtrend uh, that could work as support plus the price action in the chart that could work as support. So we'll have to see if we can actually start breaking down some of these support levels in the fear um, of this market or if that happens to spring back up. So whip one way, whip the other. Um, here we go again, right? Let's take a look at T2122. It's that four week new high, new low ratio. Yesterday, we have, in the morning, we had um, uh, whipped this back down into um, around this area, and then that rally back up brought us up here more closer to kind of the midpoint of the chart. So there's really no direction here in T2122. What it does show us, however, is that we do have a pretty sizable open window for an upside move and a sizable open window for a downside move with this morning gap up i'm guessing we're probably going to be approaching this um, bearish reversal zone all at once um, and then we'll want to watch that pretty closely and see if that resistance um, hangs in there pushes pushes down or if we're going to be able to push on through that even with you know the the higher tariffs and and everything that we're dealing with in the market let's take a look Look at um, our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, kind of an interesting calendar. We do have a big report here with international trade. They're expecting the trade deficit in the consensus estimate anyway to reduce just slightly. Um, so we'll want to watch that. Um, uh, hopefully there's not a surprise number in there at, at 8.30, kind of like yesterday where we had that surprise drop in um, the ISM number. Um, 
And then we just have a day full of Fed speak here. So um, who knows what will come out of their mouths, um, whether they'll reveal anything new about the coming FOMC meeting, uh, possible rate cut. I, I don't know if they will or if they sound uh, hawkish. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Also make note, Beige Book comes out at 2. Um, unlikely that's going to move the market, but you always want to pay attention to it. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We don't have too many companies reporting earnings today. Um, you know, earnings has, has been winding down for a while. So we had about 26 companies reporting earnings today. Um, but a few uh, things that we want to maybe keep an eye on. Um, AEO, AEO is reporting today. Um, Pan W will be reporting today. So a few stocks like that that we might want to keep an eye on. Um, home port uh, whoops. Um, reporting today. Probably not going to be any kind of a, a big market mover um, um, at all. And this work also reporting today. Just a few of uh, the notables. Looks like this is moving up just slightly this morning. Just, uh, I don't think we're going to get anything out of these earnings reports. It's really going to be a market moving event. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. But we always want to pay attention to those earnings events, particularly if we hold those companies. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading, and I want to wish you great success. I know this has been a very, very frustrating market for me as well. It's just been one of those where, you know, you can't trust much of anything that you see. Um, everything just whips back and forth, and then the next tweet comes out, and... and um, we're bouncing all over the place, but there has been money being made and, um, we've been making really good money, um, with credit spreads, uh, around this volatility. So it can be done, but it's very, very frustrating to watch a market like this. However, if you find these videos helpful in, in helping you plan your day and how you want to approach the day, that's the purpose of these videos, not to predict the direction of the market in any way, shape or form, but just to show you the things that could affect the market and how you might want to approach the day. And if you find these useful, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can make sure and be notified every time one of these videos are are posted. If you feel the video is worth worthy, uh, please take the time to click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You can leave any comment you want, um, but it um, every comment helps in in um, making these helping these algorithms show these videos to more folks. And you guys are directly responsible for the growth of this channel. And I just want to say thanks a ton. You guys are awesome. I truly truly appreciate it. And always feel free to share any video on the site with uh, friends, family posted on Facebook or Twitter. Um, that's what they're there for, to help other traders with their trading. I try to avoid all of the hype, all of the other stuff that you might see out there in the market, not trying to make a prediction. And hopefully you find that to be useful um, for your trading. Everyone, um, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. We'll have to be really, really careful in this market, but there are a few stocks out there I think are of interest that we want to keep an eye on. One of them I've been keeping an eye on pretty closely here is WDC. You can see WDC made a nice little move back up yesterday and this morning it's gapping up, breaking through this resistance. So first off, what we see here in this chart is we held on to this uh, the support and now we're moving higher here in WDC really like the chart I don't know that I would chase the gap up open maybe any kind of a rest or pullback might be an opportunity for the trade but WDC looking really good this morning might be one that you want to put on your watch list and I want to remind everyone that every time I, I uh, show one of these um, uh, charts that um, in the in the videos they're just an idea for a trade they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security at all so just kind of make note of that another chart that you might want to be keeping an eye on is this mtch mtch has been holding up really well 
considering all the volatility of this market. And you can see just a beautiful upside trend. And now we've kind of consolidated this move over toward the trend. This bullishness this morning could get this fired up and you can see we might be moving up here soon. So watch this as this moves over toward this trend. We'll want to watch for that next opportunity to maybe catch um, into MTCH for that upside move. Take a look at TTWO. TTWO has done a really good job of holding up in this wild and crazy market. And TTWO looks like it's going to move a little bit higher this morning. Once again, there's that beautiful trend, that stock that we want to keep an eye on. And as we move, consolidate and hold this price support in this chart, we want to watch for that potential pop up, that move that could move us higher. Yesterday, there was a lot of price action in um, in defensive sector stocks like STZ. STZ. Whoops. STZ had a beautiful day yesterday, breaking through price resistance here moving on up sharply. This is one of those areas where when we're a little bit nervous about the market, when the market is showing um, danger, we move to some of these consumer defensive sector stocks. And STZ did a really good job yesterday. Now, don't be too surprised if STZ gets a little rest or a pullback before um, moving on higher. But keep an eye on STZ. It's holding up really, really well. And with that in mind, you might want to take a look at Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola also holding up this beautiful trend and trying to move higher yesterday. And it looks like Coke is going to gap up this morning um, on this news and trying to move on up. So it's holding up very, very strong, showing strength overall in the market. So keep a close eye on that. Lots of potential trades that could be setting up. Um, this Sono, Sono is one that I brought up last week and it popped up here strong. Yesterday pulled back um, pretty substantially, a lot of whip in this. Um, and Sonos uh, may be moving back up this morning, so keep an eye on that, trying to recover that little bit of selling that came in yesterday. Take a look at UPS. UPS, after breaking through this resistance level here in the chart, moved up, pulling back, trying to hold a support, and there may be an opportunity here real soon as this moves back toward this trend for that opportunity to follow through and move on up. Keep an eye on UPS, see if that can maybe get going and start um, picking things up and moving along here. Another chart that I really um, was impressed with yesterday was Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble popping through pulling back to test this level of support. Nice piercing candle here, looking higher this morning, looking like it's gonna move on up. Might wanna keep an eye on Procter & Gamble. It's looking really strong, showing good potential strength here overall and um, holding in this trend. So definitely one to be paying attention to um, in, um, in this market. Take a look at a stock like BX. Now BX, doggone it, pulled back strongly yesterday on that move, but I'm guessing it's going to pop back up. So uh, whether it does or not, it doesn't really matter. But what I'm going to wait for is see if it can break out of up here. If that can pop through up here, then there may be an opportunity for this to continue its trend. You know, charts get really messy around this kind of volatility, and you have to be a little bit more flexible in that price action. But um, I'm, I'm, I tend to be pretty darn picky on the trades I take. I need to see those stocks proving support levels. So this one may be that chart that fails and then just continues to fail on down. But, but let's keep an eye on it. There still may be an opportunity here in that trade um, overall. How about um, a stock like BLL? BLL has been holding up this trend for a long, long time, showing strength and really hasn't wavered here in this chart. Breaking up through that little consolidation, now getting this little rest, probably moving over toward the trend. We'll want to watch it over here for that next opportunity to move higher. So lots of charts out there to be paying attention to, maybe keeping an eye on. Um, and last but not least, I'm gonna point out Roku. Roku is one of those charts that has just um, been incessantly strong. Um, 
just moving up in a very deliberate manner here in the chart. Um, and that could be um, at a point where it needs a little rest consolidation or pullback. But right now, Roku continues to remain very, very strong in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Once again, if you're struggling, I want to encourage you not to give up. I, this is a very, very challenging market, even for someone like me who's been trading for a long, long time. This is a very, very challenging market, making it very, very difficult to even be able to trust the price action at all from day to day. But I don't want you to give up what um, what I would encourage you to do is just keep in there, um, not necessarily trading live money, but maybe practicing in paper trade, doing some of those things. Continue your work, continue um, watching those charts, continue marking them up, waiting for your edge to return. Because trust me on this, it will return eventually. Markets will calm down. Things will get better eventually. Will that day be today? couldn't tell you, but I can tell you that it will happen. We just have to wait and be patient for it. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.